why evolution does not work. In previous videos, we discussed genomic mutational degradation as an issue for naturalistic mega-evolution. In this video, we discuss results from the paper, Rate, Molecular Spectrum, and Consequences of Human Mutation, Michael Lynch, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, 2010. As far as we know, the author, Dr. Lynch, does believe in evolution. However, his paper confirms genetic degradation of human beings over time. My comment. 1. The primary reason for genetic degradation of species is that bad, harmful mutations are a thousand to a million times more numerous than any allegedly beneficial good mutations. Neutral mutations can slow down the process of genetic degradation, but cannot reverse it. Natural selection is not able to eliminate enough of the random chance bad mutations to prevent or reverse this genetic degradation. And this is the case for all higher, more complex creatures, such as mammals with low population numbers and long reproduction times, that is, creatures higher than bacteria, archaea, and simple eukaryotes. The cost of selection, the number of genetic deaths needed to substitute improved genes throughout the population by natural selection, is too high for populations of higher creatures, such as mammals, to pay, i.e., the number of genetic deaths would be so high that the species would go extinct. Two, in addition, the time for arrival, by random chance, for completely new genes and the time for substitution, by natural selection, is much higher than the age of the universe for anything more than three completely new unrelated genes. However, the higher taxa have hundreds to thousands of completely new taxa-specific orphan genes that are needed to create the distinguishing features of each taxon. Math shows that it would take trillions of years, vastly more than the age of the universe, to create all of the orphan genes by random chance and to substitute them in the species by natural selection. All of these confirm that random chance and natural selection cannot create the entire biosphere. Scientists quote, the expected decline in fitness associated with mutations in coding DNA alone appears to be on the order of 1% to 3% per generation. Scientists quote, it is difficult to escape the conclusion that the per generation reduction in fitness due to recurrent mutation is at least 1% in humans and quite possibly as high as 5%. My comment, so the expected decline in fitness for humans is on the order of 1% to 3% to 5% per generation. If the fitness threshold for mutational meltdown and extinction is a 90% drop in fitness, that is, a drop to 10%, compared to a norm of 100% fitness, then the species will last about 231 generations if fitness declines 1% on average per generation. If the threshold for mutational meltdown is a 99% drop in fitness, from 100% normal down to 1% fitness, then the species will last about 460 generations if fitness declined by 1% on average per generation. Assuming an average reproductive age of 20 years for humans, through history, that would mean 9,200 years if fitness declined by 1% per generation. And if fitness declined by 0.5% per generation, the species would last about 920 generations. This would correspond to 18,400 years if the average reproductive age is 20 years for females, through history. There is a lot of empirical evidence for genetic degradational effects in humans today. Increasing levels of autoimmune diseases, autism spectrum, and other behavioral disorders. Average intelligence is dropping around the world. Testosterone levels and sperm counts are dropping in young men. Fertility is dropping. These indicate that genetic deterioration is real in humans. Scientists quote, The impact of deleterious mutations is accumulating with very considerable consequences on timescales of tens of generations, with significant future incapacitation at the morphological, physiological, and neurobiological levels. My comment. Dr. Lynch states that given the current rates of degradational mutations, severe physical and mental degradation is to be expected over the course of the next 200 years or six generations. Mutational degradation is also seen in a variety of other complex higher species, that have small populations and long reproductive times. These add to the case that random chance and natural selection cannot cause single cell to human evolution. They can cause microevolution, adaptation of species inside a genus or family, but nothing more. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.